Uh, they're holding on a wee bit because of the forge there, but as for these guys, nope, they're gone. Been held over here, just the last remaining bit of Shang Z and P Rock. What we can probably do now is actually just launch an attack with the Reds, since they're going to get reinforced in a second anyway, so... Just try and get them to join up as quickly as... I'm actually going to have to change that, because we are pushing much further into XP Sanma than I was uh, anticipating. Guns. We've got 9,000 guns. We're good. Nanjing has fallen. And they guys are going to get crushed in there. That's a lovely encirclement. We could sever the Sinnoh German ties, but that doesn't really make a difference, to be fair. Increase comp competition if we promote rivalry between the big two. I'm presuming that's just our industry because our uh, factory output and research thing goes down. Fight Chinese with Chinese? Nope, not doing that. They're the events which uh, result in all the silly Chinese puppets popping out every now and then. Like one up in Beijing, one down here. Shanxi's finally fallen. You guys do a favor. Sorry about the caps lock. We actually have lost the division. What we can actually do is we can just get them to join in the fun here. Yep, these guys will get crushed, which is grand. Probably don't need the, those six divisions dealing with that. Yep, that's. There we go. This is where we want to get to now. The casualties must be gone through the roof now. Yep. Well, we're giving up an XB Sand Man, it looks like, for some reason. Don't know why. I think that's as far as we really need to get. As long as we just keep pushing them back and back and back. Just you can just run there, I suppose. The only issue with the strategy I'm using with all the military factories producing infantry equipment, it's going to take us a while to actually get the rest of the army sorted. But with... With, um... I don't know... Well, they have two... They only have two military factories left. Oh my days. Um, I've taken all the factories. Grand. Yeah, they're literally walking to Chongqing now. I don't know if... Uh, it should be enough to do it, actually. Um... Go on, you. Are we done? Oh, so close. Um, so close, actually. Very close. Ah, uh, you're not holding on now. No, oh, this is starting to get a little bit messy, especially when we're leaving a whole side kind of open. I don't know why we decide just to leave these guys in here, but someone come and deal with them. I'm not pushing all the way into the bet to bet. Plus, by the time we get there, I think they'd be capitulated anyways. A lot of red down here in the south, but as for the the north in the middle now, doing pretty well. That's what I want. Just as long as we just keep pushing into to China. Wow. That, I think it's maybe my puppets division that died off earlier. I think that'd probably kill them off. That's only five of them there. Won't rival between the big two and form state research laboratories, which gives it the research slot. Go on, China. You know you want to give up. Mm. Yeah, they're almost gone. Next couple of days, we should probably quickly go to war economy. Or I forget. That was good timing there for the political power, actually. 
Yep. Two more percent and we are done. We're going to join the Anticom Term Pact, of course. We will be joining Germany. And China has capitulated. Which means everyone's capitulated. Look at all these resources. Right. Obviously my puppet's getting absolutely nothing. But I think that should be enough to just take absolutely everything. Yep, there we go. Right, so we possibly could go for um, for them. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how likely they are to join the Soviets. That, that's the one issue I have. Um, might give a shot though. Might. That's might. But right now, we should probably start producing some light tanks. Some artillery. Some motor rise and finally some support equipment. So I'll probably want you full as well. What you like that and that. That's what we'll go for. Oh that's bypassed and that's bypassed. Some more of them, so who it is we'll go. Put the battleships up for them, we'll go. We'll get to that eventually. 14. Don't need any of this now. We're gonna have to build synthetic refineries, I think. Definitely. Right. A lot of repairs to get done first, but as soon as those are done, then I'm just gonna, gonna build infrastructure over here in Manchuko. And we'll get them annexed with the next focus that we do. Which is integrate main Google. Do we go for them? A risk it is a risk. Um, 190 days. We don't have enough plug support yet, but we could go for them. They've only got what? 14 divisions ish. We get them now then. Don't know how likely they are to join the Soviets though, but because we're not in a faction right now, anyways, so don't really think we need a hundred and eight divisions go in there. So we'll get you to to be honest, we don't need you. Level well, skill eight. Supply consumption minus twenty. Division recovery rate. Oh, he's great now. He went up a wee bit. All we'll those we'll shove him on now. And we'll uh, get him back there. Just in case this goes very pear-shaped, then we'll be fine because I just won't call these guys in. <laughs> right, let's improve our infantry and let's integrate Minkuko. I do apologise if I'm butchering that. Obviously, I'm going to annex them so. Should probably have them lined up there. And let's start justifying 190 days. It might be a mistake. But uh, the French. Have they actually done any of them? No, they have not started yet. So we will see. We'll see what happens. The two games I played earlier of this, they both times they went for the Little Entente. But they only got to Romania on one, but they did get Poland the other one. But Germany destroyed all, f all four of them. And yes, this, this country always appears. Oh, that's done already. Hungary got destroyed earlier. Um, it's quite funny, actually. Oh, some more military factories in Russia. Because the Czechs completely steamrolled them. They, they pushed into here. Into Karthi and Ruthina. Ruthina? 
probably not pronounce that correctly, but they they pushed in there, but then they got absolutely destroyed because um, Czechoslovakia set them up as a puppet. Obviously, Hungary wants that because they uh, they claimed it. No one's guaranteed its independence, but it doesn't mean anything. Resource-wise, now pretty good. We're already on the way to exports. I'm not going to go into the closed economy because at least we're still getting some uh, some wee modifiers there. Oh, these are permanent, so that's good. It shouldn't be much of a threat, um, although it is mountains, so it cause them some problem. That's something we actually need to research. And yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Mountain infantry. We're still gonna rock just normal infantry divisions though, because we have got the expert here. It'd be pointless to waste them, really. See, if we get actually take this, we'll have a nice wee uh, kind of natural border, uh, not border, defense against the Soviets, because if they can only get through here. And they are obviously they will have Mongolia and Tanu Tavu. Unless they, um, they turn fascist, then maybe I can uh, persuade them to join me. Obviously, the main reason I want to join with um, Germany is when I want to take Indochina. Obviously, I have no access to Europe, so I'm relying on the Germans to take out France. France for me. It'd be nice, actually, I, I did say earlier that I want France to join the Allies. If they made the Little Entente, or they went communist or something, as long as they make their own faction, that'll be good, because then, obviously, I won't have to fight the British Raj. Like, they'll be much of a threat anyways. It just means the UK gets kicked out of it, and I can move my ships, and a decent portion of my army over there, so I can naval invade the... The south of uh, the south coast. Right, maintenance companies for the. Oh wow, we've got our experience at 500. Change them the light tags, change them the motorized. Let's get that in. I don't know if we've got enough artillery actually. Um, I doubt we will. I really doubt it. Yeah, we're going to be 3,000 shots. We'll leave that alone for now. Yeah, we've got a lot of infrastructure here, but you know, it's good though. What we'll do is we'll actually get the other research slot just so we can start destroying the research. It'll only take 70 days to get those two as well. And obviously, we can go for. Uh, Industrial effort next, actually, then we should get synthetic oil focus. Let's get the encryption. It's totally up to usual. Oh, Bulgaria's joined the Axis again. They've been doing that a lot recently as well. Must have, uh, must have quickly clicked the, the wee pop up away for it. 10th of June, we'll get in there. We might have enough artillery, but we won't. We definitely won't. Are we even producing? We are producing some. Let's see, it's not... Thirteen a day, I think. How many is that day? Yeah, thirteen a day, that's good. Not too bad. Yeah, might as well upgrade the infantry equipment. And we shall get more industrialist. Student movement's done. Extra research slot. What does student movement do again? Oh, student mobilization. Land offering research time next time. I'll take it. Really hoping they join. Join the common turn. Really open. Polish Romanian alliance. It's not an alliance yet, they just guaranteed them. Mitsi Moria is here, of course. Any other factions? The Benelux is formed. 
Norway's joined the Allies. Good on them. Oh, a common turn. And Rax joined the common turn. And we've got the Sadabat back as well. And the perturbation of Persia. Oh, great. Um, we'll confirm the Socialist Union of the Mushuik. Interesting, interesting. Right, as for as what did I say, industrial effort in there. Yep. Might as well get anti tank sorted. That's one thing we're missing. What did I say this was done? Recovery from war. They've not fought a war yet. They're on manpower, which is good. Extensive. Oh boy. Other infrastructure improvements bypassed. Oh, it must have must have been in for uh, over there. It must be over here then. It is. I just maxed out over it? No, I haven't. So I've, I've already done three on it. Right, so if we... Oh, it's finished. Right, we need to save a political poll for that now. Right. Please. Please don't join the common turn. Please, 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 please. Well... Not good at all. Um... No, that's, that's not good at all. That really is not good. Um, Germany wants me to join the Axis. Um, I should have known that was going to happen. I really should have known that was going to be the case. Well, I'm not, <laughs> not annexing them at all now. They can take South Sakhalin. Uh, we're just going to get st we're just going to get stuck right into them. Mongolia has been called in. Tanu Tabu has not. Let's just get going before the... Jeremy, I would love to join the faction, but I just think it's pointless. You don't border them. We have 77,000 guns. Right, the Soviets are probably quite weak right now, so you know it's probably best that we're doing this early. Another ace pilot. Great. Um thanks Italy. Thank you. Oh Finland's in a civil war. Yo Finland, let's create a faction. Thai's People's Republic join the common turn. Well, I'm so happy we do not border them. Right, Mongolia's capitulated. Crush crush these divisions. Go, 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 go. More factories, more factories. Um, This is good. I'm liking this. Uh, more motorized, I suppose. Might as well just max them all up. Really do need to get rid of those. Oh damn, I'm actually gonna have to go for this. Taking on the Soviet Union in 1938. It's probably the best time to strike them actually. Because obviously they've got officers purged right now, which is division organization minus 40% currently, so. Right, we really do need to crush these guys, though. Ranchuku is not joining in any time soon. Do we have enough... I was thinking, do we have enough... Do we have enough artillery? 
We do not. We do not. Mountaineers ready yet? Um, it's a very bad idea on my behalf, like. But oh well, we're uh, we're in the thick of it now. But uh, if we win, though, we <laughs> we'll be set for the playthrough. Back practically, we'll, we'll be ready. The focus to attack the Soviet Union still here. Look how much. Um. Construction repair. Construction repair. Uh, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Um. Oh, we we'll get some more naval bases. Why not? See, the only thing with, with uh, Japan taking on the Soviet Union is um, the fact that the majority of uh, the main bits are over here. Yeah, I want to take, like, the whole of the Soviet Union. Now, Siberia is practically useless to us. Obviously, look at all these divisions. That are just, well, thanks, volunteers. It's great. Casualties. We really need to check. 52,000. That's not bad. No, not terrible. These guys can just be crushed now. Why is it not? Why is it not there? Oh, because it splits in two. I need at least 20. 18 divisions. The majority definitely need to be over here. Might as well just draw this out for over there. Yeah, that's looking good. Go. Myself. What have I done? Right, ascendance in France. What are you doing, France? Oh, they're, they're getting to the stage of uh, deciding what they're up to. Oh, what a mess this is. Some artillery divisions, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to rush that. And that's gonna mean. Oh, we've actually lost. I forgot that focus was only temporary. Are you serious? Hmm. Hmm. Um. The the Benelux. The. Well, I wanted them to join a faction that wasn't the Allies, and they've joined the Benelux. Fantastic. That's that's great. Um. What we might as well do is just get the Blues to join the Reds. 
seen that. We can actually push through there. Oh, that and... We really were not ready for the Soviets. Uh, officers purged. They've still got officers purged. Right, we can use this. And offence. These 18 divisions should be able to hold there. Because they're not going to really move from over there. Oh, they're attacking. Right, let's see how well they can do. Can you hold? If that was the Soviets there at the top, I was like, what? Start going. Should really do is actually um what we'll do is we'll move these guys into their own lead division. We'll start pushing through here because they won't be expecting this. This will be completely well obviously they're not expecting they're over here, yeah, so right, go guys, eight of you. Go 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 go. Nice, nice. We're making some gains. We're making some gains. Anti-tank completely, utterly useless right now. Oh no. Um. I've completely forgot that. Um. Well, they must have forgot as well. Can we actually cheekily do this? Damn it! No, they're already at war. Um. That's fine. If we lose that, we lose it. Just go in there. Go, 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 guys. Go, guys. Luxembourg's gone. Why did I have to go mess this up? Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Develop new armor. Good jarm. Oh, the Soviets have realized. Just draw that over there. Right, we're through. So, spread out, lads. How many divisions they have? And we can do this. We can do this. Right, there's no divisions in there, so leave it. Just leave it and just get going. Plan. You guys can just stay there now. Right, um, just thinking. Um, should probably end this episode here, actually, just seeing the time. This will definitely be two parts, so I'm probably ending the second episode of this. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, you've been watching me how to mess up with Japan really, uh, after a great start, um, so we still don't know how to invade Korea, I don't know if they actually can, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next episode, so, cheerio bye for now guys.